parents of Thaddeus Saran now facing murder charges in the death of their two-year-old son. Sukjinder and Briseida Saran first reported Thaddeus missing last Wednesday. A photo of the mother has not yet been released. Our Dennis Valera live at the Madera County Jail. And Dennis, have police identified the child that they found yesterday yet? No, not yet, Steph, but an autopsy was scheduled for 2 p.m. today. Now, the arrest come as a shock for the rest of the Saran family who found out after having a vigil of their own for Thaddeus this morning. My heart goes out to Thaddeus. My heart goes out to his brother and his sisters. And today, we, we will have some justice for them. Madeira Police Chief Dino Lawson talking about the early morning arrests of Sukjinder and Berseda Saran, the parents of toddler Thaddeus Saran. They were taken into custody at their home in the 3300 block of Winter Way. Lawson was asked if the death of their four-month-old daughter in 2015 played a role in the arrest. The chief was not talking. I, I don't want to go down uh, that avenue um, right now. Um, just because... Uh, as we review that, we, we may be going down that road, and I don't want to comment on that yet. We were not expecting our cousin to be arrested. The arrest came as a shock for Sukhjinder Saran's second cousin, Sandeep. Sukhjinder's always been um, a really nice guy, very quiet and humble. And I don't know what, what happened in life for this to happen. I, I can't fathom, I can't understand. Lawson revealing that the toddler's burned body was found in this pit west of town. A memorial has been set up there by family. Sandeep says she is grateful to the community. Help with the organizing of the searches and um, the vigils. Um, and we're just grateful and then we're grateful for law enforcement. They, they put in a lot of work. Now, we did learn Berseda, that is his mother, is currently eight months pregnant. Now, as we reported yesterday, her and Sukhjinder's other children are with Child Protective Services. Sandeep telling me earlier that she is trying to get those children in her home now to help them out. Now, the Madera County District Attorney's Office is now reviewing the case and is expected to formally file charges in the coming days. Live here in Madera, Dennis Valera, KC24.